Now at 5.30, the mystery deepens. The FBI returning to the Georgetown home that belonged to an elderly man who has died. But investigators aren't saying why they're there or what they're looking for. I'm Leah Martin. And I'm Paula Evan. Neighbors are growing more frustrated by the hour. WVZ's Bill Shields is live in Georgetown. Bill? Paula, you can see all the activity in back of me here. That's a federal investigator's truck back there. It's kind of a mobile command post. They're concentrating on that white house in back of me. That's where an 85-year-old man, Peter Haskell, lived for years up until a month ago when he died. Investigators showed up here Friday. They've been here ever since, but it's all right now still a big mystery. And that's a, a very small town. This is yeah. probably the most excitement we've had since I've lived here, which is 35, 36, 37 years now. <laughs> Neighbors here in Georgetown have been watching the activity for days. Local police and the FBI going in and out of the home of 85-year-old Peter Haskell, who died a month ago. I guess you'd like some answers is what they're doing. Oh, absolutely, definitely. But, I mean, the guy's dead now. Investigators have dug up part of the yard and have focused a lot of attention on the basement. Still, it makes little sense to neighbors who say Haskell was a lifelong resident of Georgetown, a Korean War vet who devoted a lot of his time to youth sports. Very nice guy. Yep, very sports oriented. He um, did a lot with kids, underprivileged kids. He would, if you couldn't afford to play baseball, Pete would um, pay for you to play baseball. But still, law enforcement is staying tight-lipped about their activities here. Essex County District Attorney's Office could issue a statement. It would be greatly appreciated because this has really disrupted our neighborhood. But the DA did issue a statement saying only it's all part of an ongoing investigation. Reporting live in Georgetown, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.